Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. Well, some school lunches have come a long way from what you may remember. But one Escambia County mom, well, she's not happy with one of the options on this week's menu. Hannah McKenzie joins us now with the story. Long gone are the days of meatloaf and sloppy joes. On the menu today here at MacArthur Elementary, students had options like chicken tender salads and pot roast with mashed potatoes. They also got vegetables and a fruit. It sounds like a pretty well balanced meal, right? Well, that's what the district is hoping for. But one mom wasn't happy with what she saw on her daughter's plate earlier this week. A granola yogurt parfait with garlic and herb green beans and a cheese stick. It was on the lunch menu Tuesday. This is what the meal looks like on the Escambia County School District's website. But here's what Lauren Anderson saw when she went to visit her daughter at MacArthur Elementary. Yogurt in a bowl with cinnamon toast crunch sprinkled on top. I now, I didn't see any fruit. The green beans were dry and looked like they came out of a can. Anderson reached out to the district director of food service but didn't have much luck. She. Uh, sent me an email and asked me to forward her any recommendations that I may have. <clears throat> <laughs> that was her response. So we tried and we showed Jaylena Davis a side by side comparison of what's online versus what was offered. It just doesn't look appetizing at all. Mm -hmm. And the green beans too on the on the picture on the website. They're like gorgeous, lush green. And to me, these just look sad. <laughs> um. I can't control the photography or the lighting in terms of the color of the green beans and how they're coming across in the photo. Serving lunch to 22,000 students a day district wide, Davis assures us all menu options meet USDA guidelines and health standards. The parfait, she says, does have fruit. It's under the yogurt. And they offer two versions, one with granola, like the photo, and one with cereal, seen here. As for the appearance, we chose not to serve it in a clear plastic cup because the cup often falls over. So we've decided to serve it in a bowl to keep the students from dropping the parfait. Presentation aside, Anderson isn't satisfied and she'll be taking up her concerns with the PTA. It's not a well balanced meal for for a kid that you're expecting to focus, you know, and perform academically in school. She tells us her daughter won't be making any more trips through the lunch line. After what I saw yesterday, Every day she will have a packed lunch. Now the district sends out two surveys a year for parents, faculty and staff to evaluate menu options. But if you have immediate concerns or questions, you can contact the Escambia County School District uh, Food Service Office. We have that link on our website, WEARTV.com. Live in Escambia County, Hannah McKenzie.